A risp of faith comes out to reveal that Dara Siddika has blocked her on IG for a long time now. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Trends Digest. My name is Sarah Cyrus. Now if you have not yet subscribed, consider to do so so that you can be alerted once we remove our next trending video. On a comment a fan made saying Ali Zarispa ni original toka kitambo kidogo tu vera atamblok ju ya wivu. Now Lady Rispa came out to respond to this and confirming that Alini block Kitambo. She laughs. She confirms that Vera Sidika did block her quite a while ago now. Is it because of jealousy? Now Priscilla Waimani defends trending lady whose boyfriend cheated. Now did you see the viral video of this poor girl who was crying outside her boyfriend's door because he was cheating? Now, following up on that story, the whistling TikTok queen Priscilla Waimani has come to rescue of Wange, a woman who was allegedly cheated on by her boyfriend called Kevin. Now, according to Wange, Kevin has refused to return her crucial documents even though the two had agreed to separate after the cheating incident. Priscilla Waimani has taken swift action to defend Wange and fight for women's rights, especially for those in violent relationships. Now, we have had many stories on this. Now, she has warned Kevin to return the documents or face the involvement of the authorities in the matter. There are rumors that Kevin has been moving some of his belongings to an unknown location since being caught cheating. It seems that he is embarrassed after the viral video, even after Priscilla knocking on the door. For quite a number of times, he has not yet responded. He insists on keeping the documents and disappearing silently. What are your thoughts in this case? It is sad to announce that Kenyan-American couple were found murdered in their Nyamira home. The residents of Nyamakoroto village in Kitutu Masaba constituency, Nyamira County, are in shock following the horrific murder of a middle-aged couple. Edward Morema, 63, and his wife Grace Morema, 60, were found dead in their house on Tuesday. Now, the couple was visiting the country from Minnesota, USA. The body of Edward was found lying dead near his garage with deep cuts on his head while his hands and legs were tied with binding wire. Masaba North Deputy Police Commander Robert Ndambiri stated that the duo is believed to have been tortured before being murdered. Now, he came out to say, and I do quote, it seems the criminals first captured them, tied their hands, then later gagged their mouths so that they could not scream for help. We think they died as a result of excessive bleeding. Police are holding two employees, a maid and a farm worker, for questioning over their murder. Detectives are investigating to unearth the killers and the motive behind the killings. The bodies were moved to Kisi Federal Hospital, waiting a post-mortem. R.I.P. Now, on more news, a student has been caught with the wrong substances as he reports back to school. Now, I am going to leave you with this video. Once again, this is the Trends Digest and my name is Sarah Cyrus. Feel free to let us know your honest opinion down in the comments section below. Now, if you have not yet subscribed, consider to do so so that we can be able to alert you once we remove the next trending video. <laughs> Kokopo? <laughs>
Nani mwingine ako nayo? Eh? Yule ulipewa na nani? Hiyo bangi yote. This is a police case. Hivi hivi police case wa. 